my name is Sarah and this is my new booktube channel. To give you an idea of the kind of books that I will be talking about in upcoming videos, I thought I would tell you a little bit about the kind of things I love to read. First off, non-fiction. I am a huge non-fiction fan, as you can tell from behind me, my non-fiction bookcase, and they're all piling up at the side because I have run out of room. <laughs> I mainly read popular science, history, um, some political and feminist books. As for fiction, I enjoy reading the classics, modern classics, sci-fi, and of course graphic novels, because who doesn't love a bit of Batman? So this video isn't just an intro, I thought I would do a mini haul, so you can have a look at the books I have bought this month. Normally I wouldn't buy this many books, but my local charity shop had them all in, and I cannot resist a bargain. Okay, starting off with a non-fiction, Stephen J. Gowd's I have landed splashes and reflections in natural history. Now, if you're not familiar with Stephen J. Dowd, he was a paleontologist and an evolutionary biologist. <laughs> Bit mouthful. <laughs> um, and his books are normally collections of essays on natural history. So all, all sort of really interesting creatures and things and Someone you might have read was Big Richard Dawkins, so a bit of a similar vein, but this guy is so much more entertaining and just instantly likeable and makes science so fun and interesting. So definitely give this a go. And I'm looking forward to reading that. My second book is Ernest Hemingway's A Movable Feast. Now, I read some Hemingway a couple of years ago. I read For Whom the Bell Tolls and The Sun Also Rises, and I have to admit, I found For Whom the Bell Tolls pretty hard going. He's, he's kind of one of those authors I feel like I should read, but I'm not entirely sure I enjoy his work. But I have heard good things about this, it's actually a memoir, and it's about his time in Paris with people like Scott Fitzgerald, so that should be interesting, and all the kind of shenanigans they get up to. So this will probably be the, my next to read at the moment, so I will have a review for you soon. On to fiction. The first fiction I have is Drone Came Jerome's Three Men in a Boat. First off, why would his parents call him Jerome if his last name is Jerome? I just, I don't get that. But anyway, <laughs> I don't really know much about this book other than it's sort of like nothing really happens and it's kind of humorous. But uh, it, you know, it's one that I've wanted to read and I saw it there for 70p, I'm gonna get it. So, yeah. <laughs> Are you ready for some ultraviolence? We have A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. Now, if I'm totally honest with you, I actually bought this with my boyfriend in mind, because I think he'll enjoy this a lot more than I will. Um, I'm really not sure how I'm going to get on with all the kind of crazy slang they use, but I'll give it a go, and I'll be interested to see if it's actually as brutal as the uh, Kerbeck film version of the book. So, yeah, I will keep you posted. Um, and for the last in the Penguin editions, I do really like these kind of covers, they are nice. It's Edith Wharton, I hope I'm saying that right, The Age of Innocence. Again, not one I really know much about, other than this is always coming up being recommended to me, um, and I saw it there and thought, well, you know, give it a go. So, hopefully, hopefully it'll be interesting, if not, back to the charity shop it goes. And finally, Heights by Emily Bronte. I've not read anything by the Bronte sisters yet, and I thought this would be a nice sort of small step into that, rather than you know, one of the larger books of the, them. Um, I've heard it's pretty dark, and that's kind of drawn me to it, so yeah, I think I might like this, so I'm hoping so, anyway. It's just a shame that it's a World Worth's edition. If I really enjoy this book, I will buy a better, um, a better edition of it, because uh, I don't know if you're familiar with where this, you'll know what I mean. They're never particularly good quality, and the print is so tiny. But if, you know, for a book I'm not sure about, and for, yeah, 75p, it's not bad. <laughs> That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed my little video, and I hope that you'll stick around and subscribe for more of the upcoming videos on the reviews I've got. Um, 
If you want to know about the books I have already read and see my star ratings, my Goodreads link is on my channel page. Okay, that's it for now.